Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. In this video, we are going to talk about one quick locator. I'm going to talk about data test ID selector. So what is data test ID or you can say test data ID for a specific element. So for example, from the dev side, especially with the Angular or React beta application, the developer can provide the data test ID also, which will help me to write that proper automation and the playwright supports this there is a direct support available for if your selector id is available in this particular format like attribute name like data test id something like this playwright supports that so for example playwright says they have a given a method that locates by test id if you are using your own test id you can use this particular method page dot get by test id here okay so for example, let's see, there is a button and the attribute name is data test ID is equal to direction. I can directly use page dot get by test ID and directions dot click or whatever you want to use. You can use it here, right? And then they have given that what if you are not using, uh, let's see, a uh, data test ID. I'm using, let's see, data hyphen Nabeen ID. Throughout my application, I'm using data hyphen, let's see, Amazon ID, data hyphen Nabeen ID, something like this. Then I can configure also in my playwright.config.ts with this particular attribute that in your application, which attribute that you are using it. So you can define in the configuration file the data hyphen Naveen or data hyphen Amazon, whatever you want to define it over here, you can define it. So method is very straightforward. You just need to use page dot get by test ID. So what exactly I have done that I have created one sample application and uh, if you see the HTML DOM for this, I have already created one basic app.html file and I have given that data hyphen test ID is equal to username. So there are three input box, I mean two input box and one login button is there. And uh, I have given data test ID and data test ID, username, password, and the login button here. Perfect. And I've given some CSS values also for that. And uh, when I use this application here, you can see it's running in my local host. And when I try to inspect the first username here, it says that data hyphen test ID is equal to username. Right now see the thing. I'll just simply go to my playwright code. I'm launching this particular application over here. You can see the URL. And then after that, I simply write that await page dot. See this method get by test ID. And what is the ID that you are using it? So ID is this one, username. Okay. And then I simply use it. And then dot fill method that I'm going to use. Let's see the username is uh, Naveen Automation here. Then again, I'm writing that await page dot or let's see, I'll just copy this line for the password also. And for the password, let me just quickly check what is the data test ID. The password is password over here. And then I'm going to use this particular password. And uh, let's see, this is the password. And my password is, let's see, Naveen123. Okay. And then again, I'm writing await.page.get by test ID for the button also. So here we can see that uh, for the button, ID is equal to login. So I'm going to use this is the login and this is a button so i have to do a dot click over here okay so let's see is it really working or not so i'm just going to uh, run this and uh, let's see is it really working or not so yeah the browser's browser is getting launched and here you can see that navin automation my password and the login button is getting clicked over here this is just a dummy application. It's running in my local so that I can show you with the help of whatever the data test ID that I have used it here. And then if the format is available in this ID, like data hyphen test ID, then you can directly use this particular method over here that get by test ID. This is what it's written in the playwright documentation also that by default page dot get by test ID will locate the elements on the basis of data hyphen test ID attribute. But if you really want to change it, you can change it now. See, now I'm going to change it. Now, what exactly I'm going to do it here is that uh, I'll go to my app.html 
I want to use that not data test ID. I want to use, let's see, data Naveen is equal to this, or let's see, data Naveen ID is equal to this. So this is a format, let's see, as a developer that I'm using it. Same thing for the password and the login button as well. So now we, if we are using data Naveen ID equal to username, password or this, and now if I'm running it directly, that get by test ID with the username, password and the login, what exactly Playwright says? Playwright says that if in your application, if the ID is written like this, data hyphen test ID, by default, this method will take whatever the ID value that you have given, it will take it. But now what we are using? We are using data Naveen ID. And here, by default, it will go and check that are you using data test ID? No, we are not using it. So it should not work here. So let's see, is it really working or not? Okay, so see, it's uh, launching the URL and it's not entering any username, password here. So what should I do to solve this problem? So let me just close it first. I have to make an entry in my playwright config.ps file. You just need to add this particular attribute and then give that what is a template of your ID that you are using it. So I simply go to my playwright config.ts. This file, you will get it over here, playwright config.ts. And uh, after that, what you have to do, let me just close this. And you come inside the export default define config section, come inside the use object. And then after this, you just simply paste it here. The test ID attribute is what? What is a format? So format is I'm using Naveen. So this is what I'm writing, a data hyphen Naveen ID. Everything is a small letter or whatever you have written. Exactly same thing now you have to give it here. Now, after that, I simply come back here and now I'm using it that, okay, get by test ID. And then this is what in my HTML also in the DOM also that I'm using it. And then I have already configured. So I have instructed to play right that please search for test ID attribute. This attribute we have to search data Naveen ID attribute. You have to search, right? So after this, if I'm running it, let's see what happens. This time it should work. So browser is getting open and now you can see it is absolutely working fine here. It's entering the username, password and clicking on the login button here, right? So this is very straightforward. You can use this particular trick or uh, this particular method directly. If you are having your own custom ID attribute or locator strategy from the dev side, and then you guys are using, let's see, it could be anything. If you're working, let's see in Amazon, it would be like data Amazon ID or data test ID or whatever. If you're using it, you can use it over here. You just need to define your custom ID attribute here. And that's it. This is only one time activity. After that, no need to change anything. Just simply start using this method page dot get by test ID method. Perfect. So in the previous example, what we have done in the previous class, we were using page dot locator method. If you want, you can use this method as well. See, I'll show you one quick example. Let me just comment it out. After launching this application, what I want, I say that await page dot locator also, we can use it here. And then I can simply supply the locator. So let's see, supply the locator is what? Here I'm writing that um, inspect this guy. Let means whatever is there, that data Naveen ID is equal to what? Username. So here I'm writing data is equal to username whatever the attribute that you're using like this you can use it username here and then i'm writing dot fill so okay it's launching the application no it did not work okay dot fill method and says that uh, unknown engine data naveen id while parsing the selected data naveen id is equal to username let's do one thing let's put it everything in a bracket here in the form of css like this also you can write it. <clears throat> so let's see, is it really working or not? Now it is working here. Can you see? So you just need to put everything in a particular square bracket. And then whatever the ID attribute that you are using is equal to ID that you have to use it here. But this is the old way of using it. That's why they have introduced this method that page dot, as I mentioned here, that page dot uh, get by test ID method, whatever the test ID that you are using it, you can directly use it here. You don't need to write the attribute name 
like this. Perfect. So I hope this is clear now. Right. So I'm just going to comment it out. Better to use this particular format. Whatever the ID attribute that you're using it, just use the direct value here and make sure that if you're using a, any custom ID locator, mention your ID locator here. If you're using something like this, data hyphen test ID in this particular format, then you don't need to worry about it. Playwright will automatically take it there. You don't need to configure your data hyphen test ID. You don't need to configure. The configuration is required only and only when you're having a custom ID. That's it. Okay. So if you're using it, use the solution and then let me know in case of any issues. Thank you so much, guys.